I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you what the number of combinations are from 2x2, two two, as you can see here, to the world record breaking cubes, which which are 22x22x22, 22 by 22 by 22 and... Now, I'm going to be showing you... Does this pen work? I've got to change the color, I guess. So, so, so... Let's start with the 2x2. Two two. The 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, sometimes known as the Pocket Cube, has 3,674,000 um, combinations. This is a manageable number. If you fiddled with the 2x2, two two, fiddle, 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 maybe turn that way, turn that way. So if you just fiddled with the 2x2 two two continuously, randomly, 8 hours a day, you'll solve it by pure chance, roughly two or three times per year. Um, assuming your cube or your wrist doesn't break in the meantime. Um, mind you, four months to solve the two by two cube is somewhat slower than the world record. Okay, so, so the original three by three, um, and most cubers know this number, but it's 43 quintillion, 252, Right? So this number. It's a crazy number, I know. It is a very crazy number. It is a big number. So this number, 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274,000, a billion, um, uh, 489 uh, million, 856,000 combinations. Now, this is a pretty big number, but it's it's still a manageably imaginable number. I mean, like, it's, a, it's a, like a little less than the Earth's population, for example. So, the Earth's population is 7 trillion, 7 trillion times 7 trillion. That, that, it's, a, it's a bit bigger than, um, I mean, this, this number is a little less than the square of the Earth's population. Okay, so, let's go down... Do the 4x4. Four four. So the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. Oops. So the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube, this thing. Not many people not many people know there is, is even a 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. Well, my parents know. Which is kind of obvious. So this 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube, also sometimes called the Master Cube or Rubik's Revenge, has um, 7... Four zero one zero zero zero. Now this is a big number. Trust me, it is a big number. This this whole thing. This is a big number. This, if you really wanted to know, this um, this number is 7.4 quarter decillion, right? 7.4 quarter decillion. You can ignore all of this. You can ignore all of this, and seven. It's 7.4 quarter decillion, which is a big number. To to understand how big this number is, let's say you had this many teaspoons of sugar. Say you're planning like a really big tea party. A, a, like a big tea party. Maybe there's steam. There. Um, it, is it tea? Is it coffee? Is it some other beverage? I don't know. Let's just say it. Let's just say tea. Okay, so, so say you're planning like a really big tea party and you have this many teaspoons of sugar. So 7.4 quarter decillion teaspoons of sugar. Um, the sugar would fill the solar system out to about 3.5 times the orbit of Pluto. Um, this would also weigh um, about 70 times as much as our galaxy and instantly collapse into a black hole with an explosion that would wipe out the Milky Way, the Magellanic Clouds, and probably wake up some sleepy Andromedids as well. Think about that next time, next time you twist the 4x4. Disclaimer, if you ever try this exp experiment, I am not responsible for it. 
And if that's not enough, the 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube, called, called the Professor's Cube sometimes, well, I'll show you a photo of a 5x5. Five five. This is a 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube. And the 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube has um, two, eight, two, um, pairs of zeros there we go so this is a big giant 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 number and we don't really have a way of explaining this but I, I, I can simplify it for you it is um, um, it's 283 Trevin Gantillion this is getting pretty close this is getting actually uncomfortably close to the number of atoms in the known universe so a recent um, so of a few years ago, or maybe like maybe twelve years ago, I think maybe, um, a Greek engineer, pa Panagotis, I think, Panagotis Vertis, figured out how to make six by six and seven by seven cubes. So.